Hey, how's it going? My name is Andy, and today I'm going to be showcasing one of my personal projects. Um, so before we begin, this is a game that uh, is built using JavaScript and the Phaser 3 uh, game engine. So if we go back to the home page, the name of the app is called Beatpop, and basically it's a rhythm-based game. So if you guys played anything like Guitar Hero or uh, anything more recently like Osu, um, basically there's it's it's gameplay uh, revolving around music so let's go to the first map i'll show you guys what the objective of the game is so it's a little bit it's mine's a little bit different um there's a paddle at the bottom of the screen that i can move back and forth in the x direction so your objective of this game in order to score what you have to there's two conditions that have to be have to be met so the particle and the paddle must collide and you have to hit the corresponding letter um, of where the particle collides with the paddle. So there I hit S, there I hit A, and those both give me points because um, I fulfilled the two requirements, the score. And if you notice, the size of my paddle is changing. So if you miss a note, um, the paddle gets smaller. And if you successfully uh, get a point and score, your paddle gets bigger. So if I, if if the pad, so I just lost right there because my paddle shrank to size of zero, which um, basically means that the game's over because there's no paddle to play with. Um, let's go back to the home page. Um, so that was the first song. Uh, I'm gonna keep talking about my app and just show you these other two songs. Um, so the way these uh, particles are generated is by using. Uh, the web audio API that's built natively into the browser. Um, and what the web audio API lets me do is parse through an MP3 file. So all these particles you see right now, the X velocity, the, uh, the Y velocity, and also like um, the time interval that each one's being sent out at as um, are just um, data that I get from parsing through, uh, through the MP3 file that's being played. Um, so this, this way of adding songs makes um, adding new songs a lot easier because the map is basically um, dependent on like the mp3 file that's being uh, uploaded so it, it wouldn't be too hard if i wanted to add like another song or any song on my local machine so i'm just gonna lose right here so i can show you the third and final map there we go and let's see here Third and final map, are you ready for this Space Jam? Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. Um, it's a little bit hard as you can see, that one is, uh, that one's gonna be hard to hit. Did I get it? No. <laughs> okay, so. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, these are the three uh, songs I have on this app right now. Basically, it's, it, it's not too hard to add another one since the uh, apps music uh, since the gameplay is generated by an mp3 file. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see the source code I should have my github link down in the description below. Thank you and have a nice day.